Hey y'all. How to pop out? Pop some dude. How to pop out? It said hi. Uh, we're going to the penguins today. Hopefully. Me and my top. Dude, you don't need your top. It's okay. How are y'all doing? Alright, so we're at Brent's mom's house. Stop, Jamel, you're fine. We're at Brent's mom's house because Brent's mom wanted him to put her to bed and get her something to eat. Um, I, I, I don't know, y'all. I just get kind of annoyed because I'm just like, there's two other aides that are supposed to be working for her. And I understand the one aide because she's pregnant and it's supposed to be bed on bed rest. But I'm just like, the other aide, you know, she can do something. And it's just, dude, I will get to it in a minute. Just hold on. So I just get annoyed because I'm just, you know. The aide pretty much just wants to wants the hours, but don't want to work for the hours, and it's annoying because Brent has to do all the freaking work. Like today's his day off, but he still gotta come and put her to bed. Like he's not getting paid for it, but you know, still he still gotta do something for her. So it's just it's annoying. Ugh. Sometimes I feel heartless in my head, y'all. Cause like if if things if I if I plan for something to happen and like I want it to go a certain way, do can you hush please? And I want it to go a certain way. But anyway, I plan for something to go a certain way, and then it gets messed up by something that doesn't really have to get like that doesn't really have to get messed up but it is then I you know I start to get heartless and just wanna just I don't know <laughs> and this is like one of those situations cause I wanted to go to the park let the kids play you know eat lunch and I mean it's not like that still can't happen but you know putting her to bed and getting her something to eat wasn't part of the plan, so. <laughs> so, yeah. It is what it is. We're here now. Um, hopefully Brent doesn't take no longer than 10 minutes. 10, 15 minutes. So, yeah. But we already ate lunch. Um, the kids had McDonald's. I, me and Brent had barbecue and I didn't eat mine because I didn't like the way it tasted. So, waste of $11. But I did eat me some mac and cheese. That was pretty good. And the cornbread was pretty good. Um, and then I got me a frappe from McDonald's. Mostly because I didn't have, I didn't get nothing to drink. So, I'm like, well. <sighs> so, that's my, my, that's our day today right now. Um. So, yeah. I'm hoping we can go to the park. I still got to put my, y'all, I found those jeans that I told you guys that was, um, that I was scared to wash, those light jeans. I really like those. I really like those, and I really want them in the other two, um, colors. Jamel, please hush. I really want those in the other two colors. So I think I'm going to buy it, you guys. I think I'm going to buy it. So, I need to go to Dollar General before they close. They close at 9. It's not even 2 yet, so we're good. Um, and, yep, that's, that's, that's the plan. Got to go there. I got to go to Target. I don't have to go to Wegmans, but I won't be surprised if we go. So, because we go, like, almost every day. So, yeah. All right, y'all. I'll catch you guys in another Bye. time. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing today? Hi. 
BJ and Jamel both say hi. Jordan's in school. So, um, here we are two days later. The last time I saw y'all was on Saturday. Hi. Jamel says hi. The last time I saw y'all. Dude, I told them you said hi. Hi. Okay, so the last time I saw you guys was on Saturday. And today is Tuesday. Um, we're running errands. Brent went into the store um, to get a hat. Because the hat he got in the mail yesterday did not fit him. So, he's running around trying to do that. Um, after this... I need to try and find the kids some new clothes. We did buy some on Saturday. I found a couple outfits. I think I found Jamel and BJ like three outfits. And you no, know, maybe four. And I think I found Jordan too. Um, just trying to um, get prepared for the summertime. So I still got some shopping to do there. Um, my glasses, y'all, completely broke. There and there, like, this don't make no sense. And the tape is coming off, too. Um, broke my glasses completely. Tried to book an eye exam to, you know, um, and all of them are booked up until June. I, that was America's Best. I even called my Orc Orchard one. And they're booked up until July, but I got lucky because the lady said someone canceled their one o'clock eye exam, and the lady asked me if she wanted, um, if I wanted uh, to come in today at one, and I'm like, well, I'd be dumb not to, because I need an eye exam as soon as possible. Like, I can't wait two months. <laughs> so I went ahead and um, booked the eye exam for today at one o'clock. Brent's not really happy about it just because it's um, it's all the way in Brockport and today is a dialysis day for his mom and he and she usually likes him there early, but um, I need new glasses, okay? So, I don't know what to tell her. I know you're tired, I know you I know you want to get in bed, but um, this is kind of an urgent matter, so uh, yeah. So we're going to do that today, um, and then after that, go back to the house. We got some Tim Hortons because we were hungry, and it's not that good. They even messed up on the order, so there's that. Um, I think Brent said he wanted to buy Dairy Queen today for lunch, so we'll we'll see. We'll see how everything goes. But that's what's happening right now, you guys. A notification stopped my video, so. Yeah. Oh. So, you guys. How often do you guys wash your jeans? I asked this question on Facebook and I did get a couple responses back. Um, but how often do y'all wash your jeans? Because Google is telling me to wash it once a month. Brent said I'm crazy to listen to that because Google is not a real person. <laughs> I mean, I get where Google's coming from though. You know, you don't want to like ruin your jeans. So, let me know. Oh, good. He found him a hat. Yeah, you found yourself a hat. Yep. Now you can give that one to BJ. Nope. Wow. Sorry, BJ. Can't have this one. It don't fit your head. It will now. <laughs> Why? Pull there. Oh, I hear change. Yeah. Gotta get rich off of that change. Yeah. 
birthday. You want to wear one now? What size is it? Mm -hmm. Seven and three fourths. You had to get this one in the eight. Uh -huh. But the eight fit just as well. That's dope. Your mouth doesn't have a hat. You gotta wait till I buy one, dude. Take a place down there. Oh, that's great. One they, ain't had, they ain't had nothing in there. Mm. They ain't had my side. That's mm. right there. It's got a rush. Dude, we are not here for pizza. I just probably just had to get some all black ups like I already got. Mm. Well, mine's not old. <laughs> Alright y'all, so he's in the store right now. But what were we talking about? We were talking about jeans, right? So the way I usually do it as far as jeans go is sometimes I'll wear jeans twice before I put them in the wash. Cause I don't know y'all. Google was like sounded crazy talking about um wash it after every ten seven to ten wears. Like what? Mm -hmm. I don't sound right to me. It's every two to three for me. Probably the two, because after the second wear, I usually get it dirty. So, my shirts and stuff have to be washed after every use, because my shirts be smelling like deodorant. I mean, they don't smell bad, but still. I sweat and stuff. So, yeah. And that's like... And that's something with um, aluminum-free deodorants. Right now, I'm using... Um, I'm using a Dove regular deodorant. Which, by the way, I hear the aluminum-free version does not work. I've heard that from quite a few people. But, um, the thing with aluminum free deodorant with me is it does not, like, it keeps me smelling good, but it doesn't, like, um, it doesn't keep the uh, armpit wetness down. Like, I'm still sweating. It doesn't stop you from sweating. And that's a problem for me because I don't like my armpits to be wet and moist. So that's the only problem. Maybe I just need to explore some more deodorants. Because the one I got, I think the brand is Ivory. So, I mean, it's a good deodorant, but it just, as far as keeping the armpits dry, it's a fail. So maybe I just need to try something else. So. And mind you, these aluminum free deodorants are quite expensive. Whoa. The one I got now, I think, costed me like $5 a stick. And then the one that I was looking at that smells really good. Um, we found a car for sale, you guys. Brent's been looking for a car like his for sale. Might be a winner, I don't know. 
That's expected if it's fairly new, though. Mm -hmm. It's nice, though. See, Arcadia, all wheel drive. It's nice. And 18, it's an 18,500, our best offer. Our best offer is 10,000. They're looking at me like, <laughs> our best offer is 